I was one of four strategic advisors, and our role is to bring um, an external perspective to um, the area, the locality, um, look at the bigger picture, how things work there, and give help the sport and physical activity service see how they fitted into uh, the locality. Um, so I think one of the projects said to me that it it helped them focus on the important rather than the urgent. Um, so it's giving them a bit of headspace. Um, and our role really is um, a mixture of trainer, coach, uh, supporter, critical friend, um, and project manager. I think in um, public health, obviously they're looking to improve the health of the population across the life course as people's health is um, Generally, although it's overall getting better, there are big inequalities. Adult social care, the big challenges that um, they face, apart from the diminishing budgets, which, uh, say, everybody's facing, is um, people living longer, increased challenges around mental health um, is, is, a, is an increasing challenge. Um, People with learning difficulties in this, this is the first generation where they will outlive their parents. They've usually died before parents. So there are a lot of more people in the system and they're trying to um, personalise services around the individual um, and get, have better outcomes and better lives. So um, I think in children's services, um, the, the challenges there around the most vulnerable children, children in the public care, looked after children, um, and at entertainment generally. Um, but there are also commissioners in housing who are not just trying to have sustainable tendencies for their uh, people in, in housing, but also uh, strong and healthy and active communities. So they have needs there to say, we don't want to just provide uh, the bricks and mortar, we want to provide the societal support. I think some of the negative aspects that they tend to highlight is that they see um, it's about the fit getting fitter and not the inactive getting active. And I think they also see that sometimes that it's um, preoccupied with buildings, big leisure centres and so on. Um, and, and they perhaps see that it's not for, for the whole population, not necessarily accessible. And I think sometimes they see that the sport and physical activity service providers are very operational and delivering the service, but not strategic in thinking about what are the best outcomes for the population. I think on the positive side, um, I think they see lots of can-do people. Um, they see a lot of good um, work being done by the professional clubs in the community. Um, and, and I think they recognise the need for non-medical interventions and the way that sport and physical activity can play a role in prevention and early intervention. I think it's important for sport and physical activity services to learn the language of commissioners because it is different. It's not hard to learn, but um, certainly they won't talk about what they want in terms of cricket or swimming or whatever. They'll talk about it in terms of outcomes. Second thing would be around Commissioners are now looking at transformation of services and that means that things are so challenging now in terms of public service reform and resources and so on that we have to look at things differently. How do we all work together smarter to um, produce the outcomes we, we want? How do we integrate sport and physical activity into the systems that we've got? It has to be systemic rather than project based if, if it's going to transform and make a difference really understand local need. Don't think that you understand it. You need to know your joint strategic needs assessment, your director of public health and your report, your health profiles for the area, and what your members are trying to achieve, what their aspirations uh, and the commissioners are trying to achieve. So you need a, a quite a sophisticated understanding. Do your homework, be an expert in, in your own field. Um, not so that you're selling it and pushing it to people, but so that you bring that expertise to the table. Get into different networks and different places that you've perhaps not been used to. Once you go into different networks, you do start learning that language, but you also just also spot the opportunities and build, start building relationships to uh, work together. Um, and I think the final thing is, is really to then go forward with a mindset that's about um, 
how can we work together more effectively to achieve better results and outcomes for our population. The outcomes can be absolutely staggeringly outstanding and the difference to individuals' lives and community lives uh, can be amazing. So that would be my advice.